Aloha, you caught me. I am finally working on the bamboo tree house that I'm gonna make for my son. I wanna show you my process for building this bamboo house, but before I do that, I wanna dive into various uh, methods for joining bamboo together. And today I wanna show you how to make a fish mouth joint. It's one of the strongest joints that we can use in bamboo construction. And I'm gonna show you a modified version of it that can make it even stronger. So let's just jump right into the process and how we make a fish mouth joint. And in future videos, I'll show you how I put the walls together and make it all happen. We're going to start by cutting up the horizontal and vertical pieces that we're going to use for our project. Then we're going to ensure that they're clean and free of debris and that there's no insect damage. And if there is, we're going to throw it out. So I have my vertical piece and my horizontal piece. This horizontal piece is going to fit into the fish mouth joint. First thing that I need to do though is measure the diameter of this piece of uh, bamboo. All right, so we want to measure the diameter of this bamboo. And this bamboo is three and a quarter inches. So to get the radius, it's just half of three and a quarter, which is one and five eighths inches. So we are going to transfer that measurement onto our other piece of wood, our vertical piece of bamboo. Okay, so we're going to take the radius that we just measured out, which was one and five eighths inches and make a mark on our vertical piece of bamboo and then we're just going to kind of draw a circle around this bamboo freehand just use your hand that's inside the bamboo as a an anchor point all right and then we want to make four marks on the edge of the bamboo like a cross and then it's okay to be freehand Okay, and then pick any two of these marks and draw a line up. Draw it from the mark on the end up to the radius mark on the bamboo. And go ahead and do that on the side directly opposite. Okay, and now we're gonna join these other marks to this point over here, so. Okay, and then do the same on the opposite side. I like to draw a little marker of where I'm going. Okay, it's okay if it's not straight and even. And, uh, and we're gonna cut out these marks here. All right, so to cut out the fish mouth joint, you can use a circular saw. This would probably be my least favorite option. You could use a hand saw, and you can also use a miter saw or a chop saw. That would be the best way to cut these fish mouth joints. It's the fastest, easiest way to do a lot of bamboo at once. Unfortunately, mine conked out I don't have a good handsaw, so I'm left with this. So let's go ahead and cut this fish mouth joint. Okay, this is a rough fish mouth joint. It's not really gonna have the bamboo fitting real flush in it yet. This uh, bamboo needs to be kind of carved down. We need to make these high sides thinner and these low sides flatter so that the bamboo has a nice cup to fit right into. 
So you can use a grinder to be able to grind that out, or you just gotta carve it by hand with a bamboo knife. And so uh, that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna carve this by hand, get it ready for our horizontal piece to fit right inside. So we want to thin out the tops and flatten out these uh, lower areas and our fish mouth joint is ready to go. Can you see the fish mouth? Yeah, yeah it's ready to bite. So you can go ahead and take this fish mouth joint and put it right up to your horizontal bamboo piece here and see how well it fits. This piece is fitting in pretty well, they're both pretty different in size. And then you could go ahead and secure that with a dowel, but right now I want to show you a modified version that'll make this joint even stronger. All right, to make a modified fish mouth joint, we're gonna take the fish mouth that we already created, and we're gonna take a bamboo insert that's a little bit smaller. We're gonna be able to slide it right in to this piece here, and then this piece will fit into this piece here. But first we have to uh, measure out our hole and then drill a hole. So first, in order to do that, put the bamboo where you're gonna want it. So we're gonna make a little marking here. See where our bamboo is gonna be. And then we're gonna put a little center point. Then we're gonna find a drill bit. It could be a hole saw or one of these uh, Forstner bits that um, would fit this bamboo here. And so this one is just a little bit smaller. So when I drill the hole, I can carve it out just a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and go with this one and drill a hole right here where we made our mark. So we got to carve it out just a little bit and then uh, it should fit right in. And you can see how I made this hole close to a node right here. That's going to give it a lot more strength for our um, joint. You don't want to have it in the middle of a node because it can collapse. Okay, let's test it out. All right, it fits. Now we're gonna fit it into our vertical piece. All right, then we're gonna take this in, fit it into our vertical piece here. Ah, perfect fit. And then uh, we wanna put a dowel here, and then we can put a dowel up here, and this piece will be nice and solid. All right, so that's a much stronger joint right here. Using that little bamboo insert really strengthens this joint. But to add more strength, we can put an angle brace right here. And I'll show you how to make one of those in a future video. But for now, fish mouth joint. This joint can hold a lot of weight. This piece of bamboo will be holding the weight of this piece of bamboo, which will be holding the weight of the roof. All pegged together with bamboo pegs. All right, there you have it guys, installing a fish mouth joint, the modified version. You can see how strong it really can be to uh, use these joints when you're building with bamboo. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the joints that we just created, and I'll show you how I actually use them during the whole process of building in a future video. It's slightly different than what we just showed you. Uh, some more of the building is gonna happen in place. 
um, but mostly the process stays the same. So if you enjoyed this video and you learned something, plant your finger on that like button. Until next time, guys, a hui hole.